हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वी विल बी स्टडी क्लास फिफ्थ मैथ चैप्टर नंबर नाइन डेसिमल फ्रैक्शन प्रॉब्लम सेट नंबर थर्टी सेवन एंड थर्टी एट वी आर गोइंग टू कम्प्लीट इन टू डेज वीडियो अदर प्रैक्टिस सेट वी हैव ऑलरेडी कम्प्लीटेड एंड आई हैव गिवन द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ हाउ टू राइट द प्लेस वैल्यू ऑफ द फ्रैक्शन गिवन फ्रैक्शन विद द वैल्यू टेन एंड हंड्रेड ऑल्सो आई हैव गिवन द एक्सप्लेनेशन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न डिटेल अबाउट हाउ टू राइट द fraction in decimal form when the value is being given 100 at the denominator's place okay so it is very easy children first we have to convert it into a decimal point so we know how you have to convert it into decimal point up there are two zeros so after decimal point there has to be two digits okay so that is the basic one then 7 is going to be in the units place Zero is going to be in the tens place, and five is going to be in the hundreds place. And how are you going to read it? Seven point zero five. All right. So in the same way, we will solve practice set number thirty-seven. For some, we are going to solve so that it will be clear to you all. Nine one upon ten. So what we have to write? We have to convert it into a decimal fraction first. decimal form first and then we have to read it also so 10 is there that means after decimal point there has to be only one digit so one we are already having and nine will come over here so this is unit okay this is unit this is tens so we have got tens now how are you going to write this 9 point One. Okay, let's move on to the second one. Same, but over here, hundred is being given. Now nine will come before decimal point. Okay, as we have done. Now two zeros are there. That means we have to write two numbers after the decimal point. So, but over here one is there. So this is going to be zero one. Got it? The difference between ten and hundred. Two zeros, so two numbers after decimal point. How are you going to read this? This is in the units place. This is unit, tens, hundreds. So this is going to be nine point zero one. Third one is four fifty three and hundred. So four will come before decimal point. Now you will see already two digits are there. We need two two zeros are there. We need two digits. So two digits are already there. We will write fifty three directly. Isn't it easy? Now how you are going to read this? Four point five three. Not Fifty three. It is going to be five three. Now fourth one is seventy eight upon hundred. Okay. Now over here there is nothing. It's not a mixed fraction. There is nothing. So we are going to write zero. Two zeros, two digits. We are already having. So zero point seven eight. Not seventy eight. Now the fifth one is five upon hundred. Only one digit is there, so zero point zero five. Because we need two digits after decimal point, so this will be read as zero <coughs> point. Zero five. Sixth is five upon ten, so zero point five. All right, because one zero is there, so after decimal point, one zero one digit should be there. So zero point five. Got it, children? The seventh one. Two upon ten, so zero point two. So zero 
पॉइंट टू एट वन इज ट्वेंटी अपॉन हंड्रेड अब ऑलरेडी टू डिजिट्स आ गए सो जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो नॉट ट्वेंटी Okay, now I hope this exercise is clear to everyone. Let's move on to practice set number thirty-eight. Now, in practice set number thirty-eight, they have taught us how to write the place value of the given digit. Okay, so first we will understand the given example. Then we are going to solve the practice set. Now, you all can write the digits in this way also, as it has been shown. You all can form a table. Or you all can solve it just the way we have done practice set number thirty-seven. So over here, as I said, unit tens, hundred, tens, and hundred, then thousand. Okay, so this point is to be read as unit. Okay, we are going to read this as unit for the right hand side. ठीक है, so this will be two into hundred because it is a hundred place, one into ten because it is in tens place, zero. Now this is after decimal point, so we have to write, but it is in the tens place, so one upon ten, so it is going to be zero point eight. This is in the hundreds place, so zero into one upon hundred is going to be zero point zero six. Same value, these two we have just studied. This is new to you all. How you all have to write it in the form of table? If you all want, you all can write it in the form of table. Or I am going to show you how you are going to write the sum in the written form also from practice set number thirty-eight. Let's solve the first sum. Six point one three. Okay, so this is the number. Now this is unit. This is also unit because zero we are going to count as unit, tens and hundred. Okay, now we will write this six unit one tens and three hundred. Okay, so six unit means six into zero. Six into uh, sorry, not six into zero, six into one because it will give you the answer zero. So six into one is going to be six one after decimal point. So one into one upon ten, this will be zero point one. This is going to be three into hundred, so zero point zero three. Got it? So over here six will come. We will write it above only six. Zero point one, zero point zero three is the place value. Okay, so what we have done, we have written the place also. We have written the place value also. Okay, you all can even draw a line over here. It will form a table only. Ultimately, if you all want to do it in this way, you all can do it, or you all can write this thing right in front of it also. It is also correct. Now let's move on to the next sum. Four eight point eighty four. So first we will write the place. So place. This is going to be unit and tens. So four into ten is going to be. First we have to write the place. So for four tens over here. Four tens, then eight units, eight tens, and four hundred. Now four into ten is going to be forty. Eight into one is going to be eight. Eight into one upon ten, so this is going to be zero point eight. Four into one upon hundred, so this is going to be zero point zero four. 
I hope it is clear to everyone how you all have to write the values. Don't get confused over here. We have to first write it over here, all the units, and then we can write the place value. All right. Let's move on to the third sum. This is little tricky. You all have to practice it, children. But it is very easy. Unit, unit, tens, tens and hundred. So, place we will write first seven. So, seven tens, two units. Zero tens and five hundred. Now we will write the place value. So seven ten means seven into ten is going to be seventy. Two unit means two into one is going to be two. Zero into tens. Now over here, anything that is going to be divided or multiplied with zero will be a zero only. So we are going to write zero only. 5 into 100 so 1 upon 100 so this is going to be 0 0.05 let's solve the fourth sum 3.4 unit unit tens so 3 unit 4 tens so 3 into 1 is going to be 3, 4 into 10 is going to be 0 0.4. Got it? Let's solve the fifth one, which is the last one, 0 0.59. Unit, unit, tens, 100. So place is going to be 0 unit. 5 tenths 900 0 into 0 is going to be 0 anything multiplied with 0 into 1 is going to be 0 5 into 1 upon 10 is going to be 0 0.5 9 into 100 is going to be 0 0.09 I hope this exercise is clear to everyone while writing. If you all are finding anything difficult, do let me know in the comment section, children. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.